Hello everyone, my name is Kang Bo. I'm a student at Harley College and I'm major in computer science and I also have a huge interest in biomechanics. During my one year at Harley College, I have done several projects involved in robotics and bionics, either by myself or with a team. During my summer quarter 2019, I was building the first exoskeleton arm inspired by Iron Man movie team with two other two fantastic member Luke and Felix. This wing quarter, I'm working on a bionic project which is designing and building a low-cost modular power exoskeleton arm, K-Bionic Arm Mark 3. It has so much improvement over the first two bionic arm projects, Mark 1 and Mark 2, just as it has much more potential and capability for further development and testing. The ultimate goal of this project isn't actually building an arm, but building an actuation module. After multiple testing, analyzing, upgrading, if the module working, I can integrate it throughout the future exoskeleton suit without a need to design every single joint for the suit. Here is some comparison to the first bounty arm project. This comparison is also a way to show the potential and capability of the arm. That way, more, effic more efficient, easy to put on, faster to assembly, handle more load, have more power, up to 200 watt. Has more cavity and empty space for upgrade, easier to control and more responsive. No need for end stop. Battery power instead of wall power. Non back travel for load carrying without consuming energy. Modular solution. Bluetooth and Wi Fi integrate. Motor can be easily swapped out and upgrade for better motor like process system. Upgradable. Slimmer design, less component exposure. More compact resistance, relatively driven by one motor. Less strain on the motor, so therefore less cooling system required like the first project. More suitable for manufacturing and just as less lower cost for manufacturing. More control option, including safety cut-off button. Like programming, building a module is an extremely important method to make something complex like an exoskeleton suit possible with which involve dozen maybe a hundred of actuation joint. This project is inherited by my other two projects, battery pack and modular robotic actuator I developed in winter break and early spring. Here's some testing and footage of the K-Bionic arm.